going to be the last day we're here. I'm just going to do a couple of quick little things and then take off. So I'm planning to take a lot of video. Maybe a lot of talking at some point, but not a lot of video. I'm going to walk up here. I've never been up here, to be honest with you guys. I wanted to, but haven't been able to because the train is down. But I want to come up here now because it's really awesome up here. And I'm going to show you the view in a second from up here, looking down Main Street. Before I show the view of all this thing, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I almost got a little teary eyed here towards the end. Um, number one, they don't build stuff like this anymore at all, you know. They don't build things like this anymore, they don't take the time, the detail, at least I feel like, you know. I mean, they try, they try their best, but, you know, to no avail. It also kind of brought a tear to mind because it made me think of my grandparents, more specifically my grandpa. Things like this, old things, it's not, it reminds me of him because it's things that he would appreciate, you know. So, that's why I get teary eyed kind of. I also want to say this, I want to say shout out to all the hard workers that work here, the cast members, the construction workers, the guys that put in the time to put in new plants and new grass and paint things because they make this look, they make this place look amazing. And it's those little details that are the difference. So thank you to you guys. I'm sure you don't hear it enough. So thank you to you guys. And I know I just kind of mixed a bunch of story in there, but I don't have much time left, so that's why I wanted to put all that out there. So here's the view now looking down on Main Street. You guys can see that perfectly. Straight down Main Street. Nobody or Right now that the train is down, hardly anybody comes up here anymore because it's just down, but you can just see perfectly down there, straight down to the castle. You can see the outrageous number of people down there right now. There's a lot of people coming in from both sides still right now. Still pretty early, but up here, there's no one else up here but just me. So if you ever get a chance, if you ever come to Disney again, just come up here. You want to just chill, hang out, relax for a little bit. No one's gonna bother you up here unless the train's going on. But the train again is down right now since they're doing the Star Wars land. One more shot. I'm just sitting down right now, just kind of trying to relax for a little bit. Um, I know this camera doesn't do it any justice, but man, again, it's just, it's really awesome from up here. You can see all the colors on the castle there. And I'm telling you, there's no one here. See, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? No one's back here. Just me hanging out. Everybody else hanging out down there. Walking through, walking through. My wife and G right now, they're going to go get a hat for, for my sister-in-law. Her, gradu her graduation is coming up. She's going to come here, which is really awesome. So congrats to you, sister-in-law. That's going to be happening very soon. Taking it all in a little bit before we head out. Like I said, this may be the last time for a while. I wasn't introduced to this, but man, I'm, I'm a Disney freak now. I think I could say I'm really hooked on this whole Disney thing. So, yeah. So this is it, guys. This is really finally officially it. Done with Disneyland. I right now I'm about to take a journey to go pick up the car at the hotel. Since we only had a shuttle for three for three days, excuse me. So I'm on that fun journey right now by myself to take the trek back. But this is it from here. So before I go from Disneyland, thank you guys for checking out these videos. And there may still be some to come. Here. All right, so I'm walking by myself. I guess it'll give me an opportunity to give me an opportunity to vlog. But Few things from the trip here and experience was pretty great uh, with the exception of the stroller incident that happened and again I know that, that it wasn't technically all or again we're not sure yet because they haven't finished investigating the situation or but it wasn't Disneyland's fault but they did whatever they could so thanks for that but there's a few things that I think they could fix well hopefully you know once the Star Wars opens up it'll make everything a little bit better Obviously, and I don't have any more space. I'm just here hanging out at Disneyland. I'm actually, I'm not at Disneyland, guys. Hashtag Bow Wow Challenge. I'm not at Disneyland. If you're not paying attention to the social media, check that out. Uh, so I'm not at Disneyland. I'm actually back at home. We're all back at home now. Um, so I just want to end off this video. The space on my phone actually ended. The, the memory space ended, so I had to turn off my phone. A lot of footage, obviously, if you paid attention to the vlogs, I paid, I got a lot of footage, so I wanted to make sure I got it all on there. So back to the message at hand here. So the, what I was just saying was at the end there is, 
Um, a few things that I that I observed or that I, maybe I would like to see. I don't know if Disneyland pays attention to these or whatever, but one thing that I was thinking was there's a, there's always a long line, whether it's to go through the security line, whether it's to get in, whether it's to uh, wait in lines to get up to the ride that you want to go to. Uh, and I understand that they, they, they do some great things, you know, like especially when you're at the rides, they design and decorate a bunch of awesome things. But security checkout, man, it's rough. It might be a little bit easier or... I don't know, this is just coming from my brain. Maybe put some characters out there or something so the kids can kind of enjoy that. Um, I don't know, they probably obviously have the reasons as to why they don't do that, but just a thought of mine. And I don't know, just a few things they can do with the lines. I know the biggest thing right now is because rides are down and they're also trying to put up Star Wars land and things like that. And I know that's always a thing, but I don't know, that's just a thought that I had on my brain there for that whole scenario. Another thing that I was thinking or that I had a thought for was California Adventure. I don't understand and I know that they have summer hours or whatever you want to call it. And this is just for me again, maybe a lot of other people have this argument as well. They do this thing where they open late and then they close early. Um, I didn't mention it a lot, but for example, they open up, Disneyland opens up at 9 or whatever or 8 and then California Adventure open up an hour later. Um, and then it'll close early. It'll close at like eight o'clock nine o'clock i don't know why can't we just why can't you leave it open i don't know that's just something that i that i noticed that i observed and again they may have the reasons as to why they do that but again just a thought uh, a lot of people actually do enjoy disneyland california adventure at least i think so i mean i know that disneyland is the number one thing right but you know a lot of older adults and kids seem to really enjoy california adventure and again that's just my observation you guys have the numbers on it or whatever disneyland so i'm sure you guys know just another thing that I was thinking about. Now I wanted to go ahead and end this video with a few of the things that I want to do before I go in terms of the whole Disney, Disneyland aspect. Number one, the first thing I like to do if possible before I go is I would like to try and do some kind of charity, some kind of something where we gather funds or something to get underprivileged kids or a child who doesn't have the means or a family who doesn't have the means to go to Disneyland. I believe Disneyland does a lot of that stuff often, but I would like to do that from from me, you know, from this channel, from us, if we can at some point. Coming from someone who didn't go to Disneyland until they were 27, 28, yes, I'm around that old. I'm not going to tell you my official age yet, but coming from someone who hadn't experienced it until they were up to this point, at, you know, at this age, uh, I feel like I missed out, you know. And again, it, it wasn't my parents' fault or, or anything like that. I understand we didn't have the means to, but that's why I would like to, if possible, do that for a child or do that for a family at some point. So anybody who's got connections out there, maybe Disneyland, if you're watching this, that's one thing that I would like to do before I go. Before I go, what, like, what I'd like to do, number two, in terms of Disneyland and Disney, is I would like to go and see all the Disneys, if I could. All the Disneylands. I, Disneyland Paris, I think it's Hong Kong. I think there's one in Japan now, Disney World. That's the one I want to go to. I haven't, I haven't been to Disney World. I want to go check it out. I know it's a lot bigger than Disneyland, so I want to check that out and see what that's all about. And honestly, go and see all of the different Disneylands. How awesome would that be, right? It gives you the ability to go see different parts of the world, but at the same time also see Disneyland in the different ways that they have it in all those different areas. So that is the number two thing I'd like to do before I go in terms of the Disney Disneyland situation. The last thing on this list that I want to say before I go in terms of the Disney slash Disneyland thing is I would like to get my whole family and my whole group of friends to go and check out Disneyland together. It's just a really great experience and again I never knew about it. I never knew what it was like you know but I, I just got that feeling that this is somewhere that would be really awesome to spend time with my friends and my family from my side and not just mine but from my wife's as well. You know it's an experience that's really awesome and I, I think it would be great to do that with all of my friends and family um, so my family from my close family because there's some of my family that hasn't gone yet um, and again they're telling to themselves oh well maybe it's not a big thing but it is kind of a big thing and you don't know it until you go there you know and I, I mean a big thing in terms of like it really is awesome it's not awesome until you or you know you don't know it's awesome until you go there so I'd like to get all of my family maybe even some of my family from Mexico you know, I'm sure they've never experienced anything like that, so that would be really cool. And then again, for my friends, I have a, a good number of friends, and I know they have kids too. And I'm not, I think there might be some of my friends that haven't been out to Disneyland, so it'd be great for them to go and take their kids too. Those are the list of the three things I like to do before I go goals or dreams. I'm going to say goals, because honestly, guys, I would like to meet these goals at some point. 
again, just to recap, it was trying to get underprivileged kids or an underprivileged family um, or families and kids that don't have the means to, to go out to Disneyland or Disney. Um, trying to go see all the Disneylands across the whole world, that'd be awesome. And then again, trying to get my friends and my family at some point, if possible, everybody together to go because that would be really great and really awesome. To end this video, let's just go ahead and say thank you. Thank you to you guys. It's this channel it's, it's it's little it's small i know but i want to get this to be big i want to do so many things with this channel and so many things with before i go i want to make this something that a lot of people live by not just me because i know there's a lot of people out there that do live by just the you know before i go so many things so many people want to do before i go let's go ahead and end this video before i go thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching these videos for supporting me believe it or not you don't pay me any money, you don't give me a dollar for a video or whatever, but your support, you just watching these videos, taking the time, because I take the time to edit, to put these things together, and it means a lot to me, to those of you that actually watch these videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. There's going to be a little area here for you to subscribe, there's going to be a couple of areas here for you to watch videos or whatever. If you could, go ahead and click on those things, subscribe if you haven't, check out some of the videos. Thank you guys so much, we'll see you guys next time.